Hey Virgo, welcome to your June 2021 reading. I'm keeping my voice down because it's early in the morning, but thank you for being here. Uh, you have for June, you have the Higher Power card, which just says get in touch with, you know, your creator, your higher self, your guides, use your higher power, tune into your intuition this month. June is turning out to be a real interesting month. Everyone is getting a whole bunch of major arcana cards. We'll see if you're the exception. Um, but I feel like there's a lot going on in June of this year. It's also a portal month. And what I mean by that is we have a five year that we're in. So two plus zero plus two plus one is five. Five is all about changes, freedom and liberation through making a change. We've got that theme all year long. June is uh, the sixth month. So when you add six and five, you get an 11. 11 is a master number and it's a portal that you walk through that can change your life. You have this yin card. So this is just reminding you not to overwork yourself, that you get to be in your feminine energy and receive. Uh, we all have both masculine and feminine energy. So if you're overworking or you're doing too much or you're overgiving, this is saying you might need to sit back and just receive, okay? And know that to trust the universe that you will receive, that you can receive, okay? That you don't always have to work in order to receive, okay? You have the go the distance card, which to me means you're gonna be doing something and, it, and don't stop. <laughs> go all the way, don't quit. So let's see what you got here, Virgo. Oh, you also have the antelope spirit card, life is speeding up. So, so yeah, go the distance and life is speeding up. Something um, may be manifesting here for you. Okay, go, let's find out. Actually, let me shuffle these. Virgo, fortune, thank you. It's teachers and angels, guides, teachers and angels, guides, teachers and angels. Please help me guide Virgo for the month of June. What does Virgo need to know? Ace of Rods. That's the Ace of Wands. This is the Anna K. Tarot, in case you were wondering. Got the Judgment card. Wanting to do something new. That's a great unlimited potential. Um, possibly... Uh, announcing something that you've been maybe thinking about for some time. Something new, starting a new journey here. Eight of Pentacles, job related. Putting the work in, you've been very focused, you've worked very hard, you've been very dedicated. Knight of Swords. Very quick, quick changes, quick uh, energy moving in. And then the Five of Swords conf conflict. I'm wondering if I'm wondering if you have haven't quite started this. I see that you're doing a lot of work, or this is this is like the present moment that you've been working really hard. And um, maybe you feel conflicted about the speed at which things are moving forward. Um, this part of our journey can take some time where we become extremely uh, diligent. We're working hard, but sometimes it feels like things are not manifesting quite fast enough. Let's see what we got. Let's keep going, though. Well, the fool. Yeah, you have been wanting to start this new journey. You got some great idea that you were passionate about. This unlimited potential with this idea. And then this is you 
starting the journey over here. What does Virgo need to know for June? What's going on with Virgo? What's going on with Virgo? Thank you. Mm-hmm. Actually doing the work. Page of Cups. Okay. Something that you feel very good about emotionally. Something that you feel very um, uh, creative. Something you're creating over here. Um, well... Yeah, you're sitting here figuring it out. You are practicing over here. You are, um, I want to say, dreaming it into being here with this Page of Cups. Ace of Pentacles, Eight of Pentacles, Ace of Pentacles. I feel like this is something that's going to bring you a lot of material success, okay? And I feel like these things you have downloaded from your higher self and guides. I feel like this is something that just kind of downloaded into your brain that has a lot of potential. Something that you're very passionate about. Something that's going to bring you uh, potentially, a, like I said, a lot of financial success. <laughs> yeah, Nine of Cups. Wish Fulfillment celebrations, happiness, and joy. But I feel like this Knight of Swords with this is saying you need to move very quickly, okay? You need to get started on it. Um, you need to, you know, make the decision to do this and start taking action. And then you have justice. So, yeah. It's like... Putting down the sword and saying, um, I, honestly, this Justice card with this Five of Swords to me, I feel like you've been conflicted inside about something, and we will get clarity on this, but I think this is you saying, that's the end of that. I'm not going to be conflicted anymore. Maybe you've started and stopped on this idea multiple times, and now you're, and you've let this, at this point, stop you, but you are, I feel like you're starting again here, okay? And this is a great uh, financially rewarding idea that you've had. And you are committed to following through here and going the distance. And I think you're just saying, that's enough. I'm, I'm pulling the sword down. I'm cutting out all of this inner conflict up here. So, let's see. Let's get some clarity. No more mental clutter. Uh, Taurus just got this in the same position. Empress, Ace of Rods, you've got one, two, three, four major arcana so far. See, I told you, Queen of Wands, same darn card. This is so weird. Y'all's readings are so similar. Um, Empress, Abundance, um, uh, success, lots and lots of love, you know, just full of creative uh, ideas right there. Queen of Wands, moving forward, something that you're extremely passionate about. Um, I 
very uh, you're very attracted to this idea queen of wands is also very magnetic so i feel like this has been you just standing up and and making this announcement you know i'm doing this thing spent a lot of time spent a lot of time putting a lot of effort into this and really thinking all of this through Virgo so this is not something that has been quick like I said I feel like you've started and stopped a bunch of times yep changing the wind because this is you kind of sitting still and meditating and this is you taking very quick action with this knight of swords too which means you're gonna have uh you know quick success three of pentacles focusing very intently crafting something and i feel like uh the work in progress and maybe the conflict too has been just like I feel like you're questioning like is this good enough is this good enough um, maybe getting some outside opinions on this but still feeling conflicted uh, this can also be a card of teamwork people helping you uh, with this endeavor but I really feel like this is a business reading or a changing jobs situation but um, I feel like this is you being very creative and creating um, something that you're being called to do from your soul, right? Um, something that's more in alignment with what you really want to do in the world. Nine of Swords, yeah, experiencing some anxiety at starting this new journey. Um, probably weighing all of your options. This page of cups like he has two cups or sorry he has a cup and a bowl I believe um I don't see a two but we'll we'll see but just having some anxiety about starting this journey but you know we're never certain we always have fear but you know what the fool says I'm excited enough to do this despite my fears. So, overcoming your fear of failure, you know. King of Pentacles right here. Now, Virgo, this might be you. This might be a mentor. But this is someone who is an expert at what they do, okay? And I feel like... This is you making this announcement, like, I have decided to do blah, blah, blah. You may also feel like you don't feel like an expert, but this is saying that you are, okay? You do have the experience and expertise um, to go on this journey and to have the success that you want. But this could also be someone that you consult with to help you. Ace of Pentacles and the Devil. Uh, this is just saying, I think you've been obsessed with this idea for quite some time. Um, I feel like you may have been felt bound to um, the past. You know, working really, really hard right here. Felt limited in some way. You may have had a a bad boss or something but I feel like this is the old work situation and maybe someone didn't appreciate you it was just toxic energy for you you spent a long time thinking about it and here you are right here ready to go on this new journey down here and get away from this energy this could also just indicate that you've been obsessed with this idea like I said for some time Two of Wands, yep, here you are. I just said a minute ago, I don't see a two. This is you um, making plans, okay? You are going out. You are uh, still home. Haven't left yet. 
but you're going on it. This is what you want. You are making plans to have this Nine of Cups, okay? Wishes fulfilled. King of Cups, right there. Feeling emotionally stable, uh, rising above the uh, emotional chaos of doing this thing. And I feel like this is you um, cutting out, cutting out the mental chatter here. Okay, cutting out the conflict in your life and moving forward with confidence, with your um, creativity, with your imagination. This is someone who has mastered uh, creativity, emotional stability, imagination, and has manifested the life that he wants. And I think this is you saying, uh, I'm, what do I want to say? Like the buck stops here. Like I will commit myself to creating this. Yeah. Because you got the life is speeding up. This is saying, go, go, go. Don't stop. You've also got the go to the distance card, which is saying, go, go. All, all, you know, don't put on the brakes here. No self-doubt. I feel like you're going to have to be disciplined, okay, with this thing. You have to be self-disciplined. I want to pull a couple of extra cards here. Oh, let's look to... Yep, what you don't see coming, you're going on the journey right here. This is you leaving to go on the journey. Here with this Two of Wands, you're planning. Here, you are leaving for new, what lies beyond all the potential. So I feel like in June, you are starting this or restarting something that maybe you didn't follow through with before, but maybe a slightly different idea that is has the potential to bring all of, to make your wishes come true. Yep, you are ending something. Card number 13, you're transforming your life right here. This is transformation. Which is exciting. And Four of Swords. Yeah, again, we're starting to get repeat messages here. Didn't you have a four? Yeah, right here. Four of Swords. Transformation. Thinking about this deeply. Meditating. Keep meditating because of this higher power card. Okay, if you start to feel conflicted, Virgo... Um, I hope I haven't been saying Taurus do this reading. Yep. And don't do this. <laughs> okay. Don't isolate yourself. Get some help from a team of people. But you are transforming your life here. Okay. And it's going to be good for you. But I feel like also saying, even though you may be a soul, you know, you may be going at it by yourself. You're never by yourself because you always have guidance. You always have your higher power here to help you. And if you need guidance on something, if you would like a personal reading, the link to um, order one, work with me. It, they are live um, readings where we talk to each other. They're interactive readings. It's not just me going throwing down some cards and telling you what's up. It includes coaching and things like that. So I think it looks good, uh, Virgo. All I have to say is stick with your plan. Don't stop this time. Don't self-sabotage, okay? Don't self-sabotage. Don't let your mind do that to you. Get some people to help you. Self-esteem, okay. Confidence, self-love, self-worth, and pride. This is your solar plexus right here. This is the, the energy center I call uh, the lion center. 
You just need to get out there and roar. You need to know that you know enough, you're good enough, and you are worthy of having your dreams fulfilled, okay? Work on your confidence, self-love, self-worth. Um, sometimes we need, uh, and, and you may have researched this, but in our child healing work, we develop all of our personal beliefs about ourselves when we are like between the ages of birth and eight years old. And kids are not analytical when they're that little. So everything good. Oh, you're going to hear my puppy snoring in the background. Well, she's a French bulldog and she's loud. We develop all of our beliefs about ourselves, our self worth, our self love. Um, who we are, our identity between birth and eight years old. And because we're not, we're mostly in our subconscious mind during those ages, everything gets in. And it doesn't mean that your parents were mean or cruel or abusive or anything. We just get incorrect. We interpret the information incorrectly, okay? Because Children cannot make themselves wrong uh, because they need their parents, or sorry, children cannot make their parents wrong because they're dependent on their parents for survival. So instead they make themselves wrong and they default to, I'm not good enough, or I'm not smart enough, or I make people unhappy. And this is where issues around self-love and confidence, self-worth, self-esteem, come into play. It's when we, it's like these things rise to the surface, especially when we want to start a business, especially when we want to go do something in the public or make a lot more money. Then all of our deepest fears about our worth start coming to the surface. And that's when it's not time to stop or run away or go, oh, well, the universe, you know, I'm, I'm not good enough. No, they rise to the surface in order to heal. So, yes, this is what you need to focus on, knowing that you are worthy. You are absolutely worthy in this world to create anything that you want. And if you don't believe that, then start watching some videos on YouTube about near-death experiences and what people experience when they go to the other side. Uh, it's a love that has no words. Um, I was actually watching one last night of one guy who, oh, I can't remember what his name is, but he's basically like a, like a minister, but he's not religious. He just talks about the energy of God. And when he died, um, he died uh, on the side of a mountain he had from frostbite he and his buddy got stuck on the side of a mountain and um, he went unconscious and he met you know God and and he said he just kept hearing the words um, something to the effect of like I've always known you I always know you and I've always known you this just overwhelming love from God and I know what that's like because I've had an experience in a dream where I was with God um, but it wasn't a dream it was real <clears throat> and I tried to explain it to my mother before she died and I, I don't think that I had the right words but <clears throat> it is a love that is so powerful that I don't think we'd be able to contain it in our body here on earth. But the point of me saying all that is, is that there is no reason um, that you are not worthy. You are worthy from the hair on your head to the from your head to your toes, okay? From your soul all the way down to your toes. So I just feel like I needed to give you that message, Virgo. I'm sorry, there's I got bad allergies right now from the pollen outside. So just go for it. And if you need help developing um, 
your confidence, self-worth, your self-esteem. I do inner child healing work through transformational hypnosis with people all the time. It is a beautiful experience and it changes your entire life. All right, Virgo, thank you for being here. I hope you have a wonderful June. Please give the video a like and subscribe if this resonated with you, and I will see you soon.